Hello everybody. I hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got enough stuff here for a mailbag, so let's do it. Uh, I've got the camera further this way to kind of give you guys a better view, I think, of the stuff, but I have to remember not to pull things too close to me, so who knows how many times I'll go off camera today. We'll see. Let me know what you think of the different camera angle. Do you hate it, you like it, whatever. So this is some Sunlu filament that is clear um, or clear-ish. Uh, I had been working with PCBWay to try to uh, get some clear parts printed in polycrylic and there were some issues with uh, my design versus their printing abilities and that's kind of a bummer. So, um, But I had my heart set on trying to do a couple of clear parts. Now I'm not expecting crystal clear out of this stuff um, and one of the problems about buying this stuff is that when you go on Amazon, uh, the reviews are for all the types of filament. So you don't know if you're looking at a review for a clear filament or if you're looking at a review for red filament or whatever. Um, it's kind of a pain in the butt. So um, I went with Sunlu. I know the people over at Sunlu, they didn't sponsor this. Probably could have asked them to. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try this filament and see how it works and I'll let you guys know. Next up, we've got another Amazon. They're not all Amazon, but this is Amazon. Let's uh, pull this out. This is, ah, okay. This is a, uh, not electronics, but this is a Presta inflator. And um, I did a review of a compressor, or maybe it was part of a mailbag recently. And uh, I've got one of these in my truck, but I didn't actually have one in my shop. And uh, for those of you who've never seen them before, the Presta valve is kind of a skinny little valve and you just push this on top of it. Uh, and it's way easier to use something like this that just pushes on rather than trying to screw on an adapter. Uh, so I had one of these, I bought it, I actually saw I bought it in 2016, I loved it, and so I decided I wanted one for my shop. Next up, we've got one that I think came from eBay. I think I know what this is. Ah, good, whew, I wanted these. Uh, so I have, oh, let me show them to you first. So these are, uh, power switches. Oh, they are dirty. Um, or that one's dirty. That's weird. This looks like a pole. Um, that's, I mean, that is clearly not factory fresh. Um, but anyway, and are they the same brand? Yeah, all the rest of them are the same brand. This one looks different. Uh, yeah. So anyway, um, the idea with these things is that these are the power switches that go inside of AT computers and just a lot of electronics in general. Uh, use these sort of power switches. And so uh, these things wound up being, I think, two bucks a piece. So I bought five of them for $10, something like that. And uh, I have one that's broken. This clear, this uh, white part broke off and uh, I wanted to replace it. Now, one of the things about these switches is they bring a full 110 volts or 250, depending on where you're at, uh, out to the outside of the case. So you want to be careful when you're working on these that you don't uh, grab some hot, power there. I've definitely done that before. And uh, yeah, so these things are not expensive, but when they break, you want to have a replacement. So I got a couple of them. I am a little frustrated. This might have even been Amazon. I'll have to double check. But uh, yeah, I'm a little frustrated that these things look completely used. I mean, they're all different. Um, you know, you got different styles and different colors and dirty and all that kind of stuff. So this one looks like it's got schmoo on it where it's been melted. Uh, yeah, they're going to be hearing from me on this one. Next up, we've got another shaky package. Sounds like some electronics components. See, we got feels like chips. And these are chips. These are, uh, let's see on here. These are, a little hard to see through the thing. They're Atmel chips. And I think what these are, I think these are, um, a chip that I'll need for a uh, controller for something like a cartridge. And my lights are kind of glaring back that way. These are ATF20V8B15PC, so I'm guessing 150 nanoseconds, who knows. Uh, but these are basically a logic chip, if I'm not mistaken, that I'll need to build a cartridge that I'm going to be building coming forward. So I've got 10 of them right there. Flying right along, we've got see what this one is. Uh, feel like some kind of headers or something. I don't know. Uh, 
Ah, are these straight headers? Wow, package great. Um, so in a recent mailbag, I got some colored versions of these things. And uh, let me show you those real quick because there's something important about that. So I got, I think, four or five packs of multicolored headers, but the only way to store these things is to separate them out. So if you get these, I highly recommend take a minute, separate them out so you're not digging. Um, and But the fact is, like most of the time, I'm gonna use the classic black headers. And uh, believe it, <laughs> there's random four headers here. Uh, I had almost run out of them. These black ones are actually the black ones from these sets. So like I was down to my last one or two headers, which is something you never think will happen to you until it does. Uh, and so, with that being said, I went on a bit of a header binge and um, bought some of these. And I thought, you know, I don't want to use the colored ones where I don't need to because it's really cool to have the colors you want. And so I decided to go ahead and buy some black ones to be my everyday headers. And then these are for special occasions. And next up, we've got DHL, which usually means PCB way. Uh, I think this is just going to be one project. Let's see here, uh, right here. Make sure my address isn't shown. <laughs> I'm finally on the inside. I finally, finally, finally got some PCB way rulers, which is really funny because Gadget Reboot just sent me one. But uh, these things are kind of cool. They uh, are rulers, but they also help you gauge the sizes of the different components, uh, which is kind of just a cool thing. They print these on actual PCBs. And uh, so just kind of a fun little goofy thing showing you, you know, when you're looking in KiCad, a 0.15 millimeter trace, that's what it looks like. Uh, so they sent me two of these. I'm finally on the inside. And uh, these things look similar to a project that you've seen me do before uh, where I made an Atari cartridge, but these are a little bit different. And I actually think these are the perfect versions. Not saying the other ones aren't good, but I think these are better. So I'll do a separate video about those. Oh, and finally we got the pen, which everybody seems to love these PCBWay pens. Uh, they're pretty good pens, so happy to have it. So I honestly don't know what this one could be. If it's from uh, Banggood, I was only expecting one item from them. And if it's from AliExpress, uh, I don't really know why it's this heavy. So uh, let's open it up and find out. Okay, I'm guessing it's one of those multi AliExpress orders. So let's slice it open. Oh, hmm. Oh, okay, I know what this is. This is definitely AliExpress and um, this is for the EEPROM programmer, which I just had over here. Oh, okay, I recognize what this thing is for. This is actually for the EEPROM programmer, I believe. And my understanding is that somehow this thing can do some kind of diagnostics or something to do with programming VGA monitors. I have no idea, and I figured the only way I'd find out is if I got this little adapter. It comes with some of these kits when you buy these, but mine didn't come with one, so I went ahead and ordered this. Uh, and I might have actually ordered a couple more random adapters, but I honestly don't know what it does. It was just one of those things where my uh, programmer had this feature, so I have to figure it out. Up next, uh, my address is all over the other side, so I'm just gonna cut through the top. One of the benefits of having a real knife and not like a piece of ram or something like that uh so we're gonna pop this open and see what we got these ah these are um motor drivers let me open up one here these are the motor drivers that are used for things like nema 17 stepper motors um one of the things about these things is uh they're only about a buck a piece but if you power the board up for even a second without the stepper motor connected, you will absolutely blow this driver. And so uh, I've definitely done that a time or two in my life. And so I bought three more of them at about a buck a piece off of Amazon or off of uh, AliExpress so that I could replace them. Uh, let me just go ahead and show you. So when I want to drive things like NEMA 17s, this is my uh, stepper controller of, sh of choice it's the cnc shield and uh again if you turn it on for just a second without this plugged in you'll absolutely destroy the little board here um but this one can control four of them so it's made for up to a four axis cnc but i just use these for any kind of arbitrary uh nema 17 control so anyway i got a couple more drivers for the ones i've blown and uh yeah 
Glad to have them in stock. And next up, this one is jam packed. And uh, the only thing I can think maybe is it's a bunch of uh, of wire. Let's see, maybe DuPont cable. Oh gosh. Um, yeah. So, oh my gosh, I don't love the packing job. Uh, so, wow, these are, I think they're getting worse over time. Uh, these are the stiffest DuPont wires that I've ever seen in my life. The colors are actually a little different too, which is kind of interesting. But uh, I have gone through, man, they did a crap job of packing these. Um, I have gone through kind of an insane number of, uh, of DuPont cables. And so I decided to replenish and uh, AliExpress seemed like the cheapest way. Um, man, that is horrible. Uh, yeah, so I got different varieties in 30 centimeters, 20 centimeters, 10 centimeters. Look at me being all metric. Um, but my gosh, that is awful. Uh, so, um, generally I store them in something like this where they're nice and neat and, uh, nice and even at the end. And a lot of times I'll actually take these things and make ribbon cables out of them. So I think I spent like 20 bucks on replenishing my collection and uh, I'm sure they're functional, but I'm just not really happy with, with having to store them like this. They're just gonna take up so much more space and I'm not gonna sit here and straighten out every single one of these thousands and thousands of wires. Uh, so yeah, that's what you get for buying from AliExpress. Now that the shock has subsided, I probably should explain why I have so many of them. Uh, so these ones are mail to mail, which I actually have a lot of those in stock, which is why there aren't as many in here. Uh, these are female to female and these are male to female. So um, there's three basic types of these that you get. And uh, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll make just straight up ribbon cables out of them. I'll use them as Arduino projects. A lot of times, like even the male ones, if I need to go through a PCB, I'll, uh, I'll use this and I'll just cut the other end off and so I'll solder that pin right through the PCB. So I use them for a lot of different random things and uh, they they actually do sell them in 40 centimeters but that doesn't ever seem to be something I need. So I get uh, male to female, female to female, male to male in all three sizes and I just bought uh, sort of enough to offset how many I was I had of each one. So uh, restocked for hopefully what'll be a couple of years as long as these things prove reliable. Uh, so Last but not least, this doesn't feel like electronics. I don't think it's electronics. <laughs> 11 Guns Premium Wah Running Pets Black. Plastic, in plastic, in plastic. So this is kind of an odd thing that I may have a hard time showing you on here. But this is a neoprene, um, it's not exactly a seat cover. It's kind of like a seat cover, but the idea is that um, I ride my bike a lot and uh, go to the gym a couple times a week. And so the idea with this thing is I was draping towels over the seats of my vehicle uh, when I get back from the gym. You know, I sweat a lot, uh, go out there, ride in the Florida heat, and it's a lot. So the deal with this is it's kind of like a flat seat protector. And what I like about it is that I don't have to keep it on the seat. I was kind of torn between, I wanted something to protect the seats from when I get done riding, but I also didn't want to have to ride around in my own sweat all the time when I was in clean clothes. So the deal with this is it just pops right over the headrest. You can see here, it just kind of hooks the headrest and then it is a flat neoprene seat protector. And so uh, you don't really need to strap it on or do anything like that. It just kind of pops on, pops off. And uh, it's kind of exactly what I didn't know I needed for my van seat. Uh, so anyway, we'll see if it works. I don't know, I might even wind up cutting these straps off because I don't think I'm gonna uh, attach the thing permanently. I think what I wanna do is ride over to the to where I start my bike rides in my normal seat and my normal clothes. And then when I'm done riding, I'll just pop this thing on, ride home sweaty, come take a shower. Uh, so anyway, I will let you guys know, I'm sure it'll be a little while till this video comes online. So I'll let you know what I think about this, what I think about the filament. I'm guessing before this mailbag comes out, you'll see this and you'll see this be built. So, um, you know, this should be a mailbag with some reviews as we go. So anyway, I appreciate you guys watching and have a great day.